Alright YouTube, you're going to have to forgive me, um, I'm going to be a little sluggish today when it comes to the NFL picks, I just haven't, when you're out of town three days and you got to sleep on the floor and shit, if you just don't get a good night's sleep, then your back hurts and whatever. Friend, friend, he doesn't have a lot of money, he lives in an older house, you know, whatever. But anyways, NFL picks. Week 16, we're closing down the end of the season here, almost to playoff time, which is really nice, you know. The shittiest part now is there is no more Thursday night football, but uh, that's okay because in a few weeks, we're going to see some really good football. Our first game of the week, Miami is a two and a half point favored on the road in Buffalo. Miami ain't a joke, but here's I see one problem with this game. Buffalo's obviously not playing for nothing except for a spoiler. But uh, Miami's a Southern team going to Buffalo. I understand they beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh in a snowstorm a few weeks back. But I like the upset here. I like Miami to, to struggle this game. And I like Buffalo outright in just a spoiler. I mean, honestly, I really do. And it pretty much, I mean, Miami, Miami's hunting for a playoff spot. I realize this. But. I just have a funny feeling that Buffalo will win this game. Take Buffalo in an upset. And a spoiler. Carolina, here's a good game. Carolina is at home giving three. Carolina at home getting three against the New Orleans Saints. After the Saints got embarrassed by the St. Louis Rams last week, who always seems to have New Orleans' number, um, it's really hard to pick against the Saints right now. It really is. But for some reason, actually... Carolina's at home. I like Carolina. I really do. I think Carolina improves from last time. Look, we have New Orleans on the road, I think, is in trouble. But at home, they're tougher and shit. But um, I like Carolina, so I'll take Carolina with the three points to win the game outright. My game right here. Cincinnati is getting seven and a half, or seven and a half point favorite against Minnesota. Um... Cincinnati's 9-5. Easily could be a 12-2, 13-1 team. We all know that. Anybody that's watched that team and watched their games they have lost, I mean, at least three out of the five they've lost have been very winnable. Uh, so, and they're playing the Vikings who are 4-9-1. I mean, what happened last week, I think that was a fluke. Plus, Philadelphia's defense sucks. So, if Adrian Peterson's playing, I'm not sure if he is or not, but if he's playing, that's the only thing I can see giving us problems. But um, I think our defense contains Christian Ponder, Matt Castle, who the fuck knows, because Minnesota seems like they change quarterbacks every other game. Uh, I like Cincinnati at home. They should win this game. If, they, if Cincinnati does not win this game, believe me, I'm going to go off, because this is a game they need to win, and it's a clearly a winnable game. <clears throat> Take the Bengals with seven and a half points to win the game outright. And I know this, this game actually touches close to home because there's a lot of Vikings fans up here. I can't wait. But it, could, it easily could go the other way, so I'm not going to say a word until the game's over. Take the Bengals all the points. Uh, Denver on the road giving 13 to Houston. Uh, you might as well give them 30. Houston, Houston is garbage. I mean, just flat-out garbage. Uh, you need to rebuild, obviously, Matt Schaub. <laughs> Wasn't the answer, never was the answer, but he's definitely not the answer. You see that. Texas need to rebuild, obviously, and Denver's giving 13. Uh, Denver wins this game. I, I understand Peyton Manning. I don't know if he'll rest or not. He probably won't because they want to get, get that home field advantage. But uh, I think uh, Denver destroys them 45-3. to three. Take the Broncos. Tennessee, Jacksonville. Who cares? Tennessee's giving six and a half at the Jackson Jaguars. I don't fucking cares. Take Jacksonville at home. Don't know why. It's just a game. Who cares? Kansas City at home getting six and a half to the Indianapolis Colts, good game right here. Well, I'm not saying the Colts could not win this game, because they clearly could, because Andrew Luck's a hell of a quarterback. But right now, with Kansas City, the way they're playing at home, I think they're going to be tougher and shit be at home. I understand, but can't, or Kansas City, look, I'm sorry, you're not as good as everybody's hyping you up to be. I mean, you already got beat by Broncos, by the Broncos two times, so I don't see the Chiefs doing much in the playoffs, but uh, we'll see what happens. But... At this game, I like the Chiefs over the Colts. I know the Colts need to win this game bad, but sadly, you're going into Arrowhead Stadium, and Arrowhead Stadium is like, what is it? Didn't they, they like to the break the sound barrier or whatever it was record? I don't know. Take the uh, Chiefs. Dallas. This game, this game sucks. Dallas on the road getting three at Washington. 
Dallas sucks. I'm sorry. How, how do you still find the Cowboys relevant after they blew a fucking game against Green Bay like that? I mean, Dallas' defense, Tony Romo is not the problem. He may be a little bit, but he's not the main problem. Dallas' defense is absolutely horrible. Consequently, uh, that is the reason the Cowboys, if you're a Cowboys fan, do you really want to make the playoffs? I mean, do you really? Because you kind of have a feeling you know what's going to happen. But uh, take Dallas in this game because, well, uh, Kirk Cousins is in. I forgot about that, um, even though I don't think it matters. Uh, Dallas' defense, because their defense sucks so bad, it'll be closer than people think. But I think Cowboys win this game outright. I mean, if Cowboys don't win this game, obviously they're done. But take the Cowboys. New York Jets, Cleveland Browns, who cares? Uh, the Jets are at home giving nine points. Uh, take the Jets, uh, even though Browns got good defense. Sadly, if they had an offense, they could be a contender right now, but they're not. So take the Jets at home. St. Louis Rams at home getting five and a half against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Take the Rams all day after what they did. Rams are really underrated in my opinion. I mean, I know they're six and eight, but if they would ever get to the playoffs, I think they could do some damage. Take uh, the Rams. Seattle Seahawks at home getting 10 against their rival Arizona Cardinals. Come on, man. 10 points. Seattle's going to slaughter Arizona. I shocked you there. Seattle is going to slaughter Arizona. I mean, come on. Seattle's at home. Um, I don't know if they'll rest any of their players. They probably won't. Uh, so take uh, I understand Arizona's good, but you're going into Seattle, and I'm sorry. Seattle's going to kill this team, and Arizona's had some difficulties with Seattle in the past. 58 nothing loss is one of them. But, uh, yeah, take Seattle. It'll blow out. Take Seattle. Even though I would love to see the Cardinals win, don't get me wrong, but take Seattle. Uh, Detroit at home getting two and a half against the New York Giants. I'm sorry, I don't consider the Lions relevant anymore. I really don't. Uh, they needed to win last week, and they did. They only lost by two points, but uh, would it shock anyone if the Giants... And Lions fans, you're so used to this. Would it shock you if the Giants came in there and beat you? I mean, would, would it really? I mean, Lions fans, I feel you, man. Trust me, I ain't much far off being a Bengals fan. Uh, take uh, Detroit at home. I like Detroit uh, to win this game. They need to win this game. But it wouldn't shock me if Giants won this game. I really wouldn't. Take up the Lions, though. Baltimore. Baltimore is at home, and they are a one-and-a-half point favorite over New England. Well, that makes sense because New England's been playing like shit last few weeks. However, yeah, I don't know. I had a tough time picking this game. Obviously, I don't want either one of these teams to win. But... Considering that Baltimore's trailing us, I want New England to knock them out. So, take on New England to beat the Ravens in Baltimore. And I think Tom Brady regroups and gets better. Whatever. I mean, look, without Tom Brady, Patriots are a 1-15 team, obviously. But since he's still healthy, he's still going strong. Take the Patriots. San Diego at home getting 11 against the Oakland Raiders. Now, th this game is really interesting. If Baltimore would happen to lose and San Diego wins this game, which they really should, San Diego may not be out of it yet. And especially if Miami loses too, then they really wouldn't be out of it. Um, if San, I think San Diego, if they got to the playoffs, they could do some damage. I really think. I think they could go deep. Because let's be honest, no one's taking the Chargers seriously. Um, and Chargers made some mistakes in the season that could probably cost them a playoff spot. But I like the Chargers, obviously, to win this game. But if the Chargers get to the playoffs, they could do some damage. Uh, pick them game. Rematch of Super Bowl 45. These teams have not seen each other, at least in the regular season, since Super Bowl 45. Green Bay is at home. Pick them game against Pittsburgh. If Aaron Rodgers is playing, obviously, take the Packers. Even with Aaron Rodgers not playing, this game, I mean, Packers need, need to win this game to keep their playoff hopes alive. I think Packers get it done at Lambeau Field, and I think the Steelers will struggle. And, uh, yes, take the Packers. I'm sorry, I got off track there. Sunday, Sunday night, Philadelphia at home getting three against Chicago. Great game right here. Both these teams really need to win. After Eagles got humiliated by Minnesota last week, I like the Eagles at home. I like Nick Foles. Now, I, I think Nick Foles is going to be the franchise quarterback there. And uh, Chicago, I understand what Josh McCown's good. Don't get me wrong. I don't know if Josh McCown's still starting or not, but I know he's good. Um, so this could be a really close game, but I like the Eagles to edge it out. And the final game of the week, San Francisco 
is at home getting 11 and a half to the Atlanta Falcons. Um, you might as well give them 40 because uh, San Fran's going to slaughter that team 45 to 10. You need to rebuild, obviously. Matt Ryan ain't the answer. Um, Atlanta Falcons were one of the major disappointments this year, along with the Texans. Um, had high expectations, but it, look, you beat a Seattle Seahawks team last year with a rookie quarterback, and you barely edged it out at home. You think, now if Seattle had, it won't happen this year, but if Seattle had the opportunity to redo that game this year, it'd be a blowout, obviously. So, there's your picks, guys. I'm sorry I'm sluggish. I don't seem with it. I'm just really a lack of sleep, and I really didn't want to wait until tomorrow to do this video because I don't think I'll have time. So, there's your Week 16 picks. And good luck to all your teams, and we'll see you next week.